Hey guys, Preston here, and the Yankees have just defeated against the St. Louis Cardinals in Game 6 of the World Series, or Game 5. We take it in the 4-2 series, win over the over the St. Louis Cardinals, very nice seri well, season for the Yankees. Some notable awards is that, uh, ch ch what was it, Michael Pena wins the Cy Young Award, of course, because he had a really nice season, and he pretty much deserved it. Only good glove winner for us is Will Miller Brooks, which is pretty pathetic because we really had some nice fielders in our le our season. So I don't know why any of them could have won it besides Miller Brooks. Here are some of the retiring players. Only really notable player is Lyle Overbay, who didn't really do anything for us in the major leagues. He was always in the minor leagues because we didn't really need him or he wasn't really useful. Our attendance did go up, so let's just that's good. And Kendall's on the decline. That's not good at all. Miller Brooks went up though. We got Uzuna, Uzuna, who went up, is a slight incline. The shares on a downcline. Uh, Reynolds, Wells, they they're going down. Chris Stewart's going down. That's, that's not good at all. Pineda's going up. Sabathia's going down. Nolasco is going up on his stats. No, Noble's going is going up on his stats. So, oh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good at all. All those players are going down. So we really gotta replace some of the players and trade them away so we can get a better roster. So let's go to some re-signing players. First of all, we gotta get Brett Gardner back. He was a really nice addition to our team. 74 RBIs, 22 home runs, 277 average, and 49 stolen bases. He's gonna accept that four-year, eight-year, eight million dollar deal perfectly for eight. It's gonna be a total of like 32 million. Very nice deal for him, and he deserves it. Robertson, he's gonna accept that deal with like three years, uh, no, three million. I think maybe four years. Mm -hmm. Wilson, you can get out of here. You didn't do anything for us. We're gonna release you. Hatfield, uh, some some here's some of the rookies though. Uh, Wells can really not come back. Thomas Neal, uh, I mean maybe he can develop into a nice player. So we're gonna try to sign him. And just because I don't really trust the computer selling back to players, I'm just gonna individually sign them to really 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 low contracts. I mean fifty thousand dollars doesn't really matter. We have a hundred million dollar like left in our cap space. So it doesn't really matter at the time. I mean, the players are just fine. I just want to see how they develop because we really don't have a lot of prospects. So we might as well just keep still, keep the ones we have right now. Some of them have, have gotten really good seasons. Like under three three ERA is really 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 good for me. So I'll just sign most of them back except for the old ones and the no and the players who have no potential. Coach resigning. We're gonna sign Larry Rashad back because we pretty had an okay. Pitching staff, not the best, not the worst, but you know, we'll just keep him there. And Rick Ross, our trainer. Don't know what he actually did for the team, but we'll just sign that because we don't want to go there. Free agency. Not the best. Most of the players just re-signed back and they sent to really low contract deals. So I don't know why they actually did that, but this this free agency isn't really good at all. We got Calaspo, Jed Lowry, Zubal Cabrera, Everett Cabrera, David Ortiz. That's Pretty much it on the hitters. We want Jed Lowry because he's an actual shortstop. We're going to give him $9 million for five years. Here's Clayton Richard. On the decline as a starting pitcher, but he did have a really nice season last year. But uh, he is not doing too good. So we're only going to try to sign him to a one-year deal. Very low money he's asking for. So we'll, we'll take the deal. We need a, we need him in the rotation. See how he can actually do. He's a lefty. Here's Justin Masterson. We're, we're going to see if we can sign him. Oh, I just something he's gonna accept a really low contract also so we can use him in the bullpen or we can keep him in the wires just in case if we need to bring him up Luke Garrett Gregson he's a nice reliever so we're gonna try to really go after him we're gonna give him three years around two million yeah two million he's gonna, he's gonna offer to him and see how it's gonna go it's Brian Wilson no you're not coming back here Francisco uh, Fernando Rodney we're really gonna try to push for him even though he's on a really, really bad decline, we're going to sign him for one year. As you can see, we're, it, me, uh, the Mariners and the Yankees are really fighting for Jed Lowry, but we <laughs> destroy him in the salary because we have no, we really have nothing to spend, really to care about, so we can just spend as much as we want. We're going to up our uh, up our contract a bit for uh, Rodney, see how it does. We're going to raise Gregerson's uh, salary a bit, see if we can actually get that deal. We don't want to risk it, losing him in the off season. We only got that in the starting pitcher. We only have one bid, and we signed a bunch of players. I think we got Jed Lowry, Gregerson, and that's pretty much it for the free agency. Not very good, not very good at all. Here is the 
And we gotta just sort out who's gonna be staying in the minors, who's gonna be staying in the majors, who will go or stay. Sean Kelly, J. Well, I think, yeah, he's gotta go. He's gotta go down to AAA. He's on a busy decline. Jim Miller, he really got, he's really gotta leave. So I think maybe Huffer gotta send him down also. Yeah, M M Miller's not really the best. So, you know what? We're just gonna release him because he's really no benefit to our franchise, and we just gotta get rid of as much players as we can so we can bring in the new talent. Got all that organized. Now we gotta finalize the roster a bit. And no, we're gonna go. No, wait. No, we're gonna do starting lineups. Okay. And so we're gonna do a trade before we actually do the lineups. We're gonna train Sean Kelly, Ricky Nolasco, and Mark Reynolds for Evan Juttis. Really nice catcher prospect. He's really young, has a lot of power, and a, bit, a good amount of contact. We're betraying all these players away because we don't need them. They're old, they're p getting into their prime or out of their prime. So we don't really want them. We want young talent, so we gotta get rid of them. Braves are gonna accept this trade, and we accept that gratefully. Next trade is gonna be Marcus Sherrod, Justin Madison, and Derek Bradley for Billy Butler. We really need a first baseman. Sherrod's getting old. Masterson, we just signed him. We don't really care, though. And Derek Bradley's a really good prospect, so we, we're giving up a quite a bit for him, Billy Butler. But we are getting our a really nice first baseman. And here is going to be our 2014-15 or 15-16 lineup. It's going to be Brett Gardner, always in the top, has a lot of speed, has a lot of good contact, and we can really provide to the lineup. Here is Middlebrooks, really nice contact and power hitter, is in the middle. So when you're in the middle, kind of a hitter, you got to move up to the two-hole. So he can get on base. Also, we got number three hole. We got Robinson Cano. Always very nice contact and power. Very nice to have. Kind of protects Mark Trumbo, who is has a very nice power. I think he has the most power on this team, so that's why he's in number four. Billy Butler is going to be in the fifth hole with 82 contact and a 74 power. Very nice to have to also protect Trumbo. Jed Lowry is going to bang right behind him. Some very nice, uh, very average power and some nice contact. Uzuna, they're going to be flip-flopping a bit, him and Jed Lowry, because, I don't know, they're not the best. Jose Altuve now is going to be DHing. He lost his shortstop job because he doesn't play shortstop. And then we're going to have Evan Jettis in the batting last. So Jose Altuve pretty much lost his shortstop job because he doesn't play shortstop and we really need one. But Cano is leaving soon, so we're going to have Altuve. Here's for the lefty line. Last, the other line was the righty, so it's the lefty. We're flip flopping Cano and Miller Brooks. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. Though Jed Lowry is going down and Jetitis oh, is going up in the lineup. Here's the bench Austin Roman, Romine, Eric Rivera, and I forgot the last one. But that's pretty much it. Okay, Michael Pena is going to go into the number one spot in the rotation because he pretty much earned it getting a Cy Young Award and. He's really developing into the one of the best pitchers in the league right now. So, really got to treat him like if, if he's the best. Next is he's bad. He's really going out and uh, going out in his career. So, he's been demoted to the second one, second slot in the rotation. Still pretty good, but is not as a, as prime as he used to be with us in the beginning of the franchise. Then we got Ivan Nova, very nice, solid, reliable player to have on the team. Very good year. I think he had a, a, maybe around 3.5 ERA. For our last season, and here is Clayton Richard. He's on a one-year deal. He's a lefty. Very. He had some extra depth to our rotation because he's a lefty, and well, not all right. He's in the rotation, so we're going to be keeping him around because it's very good to have. David Phelps had a very bad, very very bad year. I think he had eight ERA. He just couldn't get things going. But I'm going to give him a chance in the fifth slot. See what we can do. Closer is going to be David Robertson. Like last year, he had just under 40 saves in his first season as a closer, so I expect a little bit more from him this year. So that man is going to be Fernando Rodney because, well, I, he's a really good pitcher. And then we're going to have Gregerson. He's going to be the other setup man or minor reliever, whichever one was really going to do it. The other two are going to be flip-flopping around Rodney and Gregerson. Here's going to be Logan. He's going to be another minor reliever. He's returning for a lefty. Then we're going to have Preston Claiborne. He's going to be a righty in the bullpen. Very average season last year, so we could have him back. Vidal Nuno, he's a starter, but we're going to keep him in there for now. And Jabba the Hutt Chamberlain is going to be next. So, my name is Preston. I'll see you guys later in the next video sometime 